Let us in this video understand the average profit method of computing goodwill. Now the first thing that you would be wondering is what is this average profit method? And my answer to that is the name itself suggests what you need to do, right? Let's say there were two people, one is the buyer and the other is the seller, right? The buyer came to the seller and said, sell me your business, okay? Right? Let's say the seller has been carrying this on for 20 donkey years, right? So the seller says, no, there is some goodwill also, right? And the buyer said, okay, let's calculate goodwill. You are saying you have goodwill, right? So let us calculate it based on the average profits that you have calculated, right? Now the question which comes up is, how do you calculate average profits? Now the first thing is that, you know, if a buyer is buying a business, right? The only thing he wants to be sure of is that what is goodwill? Well, goodwill is just the capacity to earn extra profits. So the profits which are considered, when we say average profit, the profit which are considered are the normal profit of business. Now what do you mean by normal profit? Normal profit means that if there are any extraordinary, extraordinary gains or extraordinary loss for that matter, these are not considered as a part of profit, right? So if the profits have been arrived at after considering any extraordinary losses or extraordinary gain, these are not considered. So let's say for example, I make a profit of 100 but all of a sudden what happened was that someone came and gave me rupees 50. So while my income or the profit might be 150, this 150 takes into account an abnormal gain, some gain which does not normally happens to my business day in day out. So these kinds of gains are excluded. Similarly, let's say in one of the years while I've been earning a profit of 100 consistently, right? There was some kind of a loss of stock maybe most common one is let's say fire occurred and therefore I had lost a stock of 40 and my profits were 60. Again, this is an abnormal loss which I don't consider for the purpose of my goodwill. So when you calculate goodwill using the average profit method, the profits means the normal profits of the business, right? So what we do, let's say for example, if you have profits for various year, one, two, three, let's say 500, 300, 400, right? What we do is that if there are any abnormal gains, what will we do with these gains? Let's say abnormal gain is 100 in each of the years and abnormal loss is 50 in each of the years, right? Now what do we do with the gain? We credit our profit and loss account with a gain, which means that this profit figure of 500 includes 100 rupees of gain, which is not normal. So if I have to get the normal profits, what will I do? I will reduce this from this. So my normal profits will be, this is 100, this is 50. So my normal profits will be what? After excluding this gain, so 500 minus 100, which is 400. The other thing which I have here is, I have also reduced my loss of 50 to arrive at this. If loss was not considered here, this profit would have been how much? 550 right so I will add my abnormal loss here I will reduce the abnormal gain here so 500 plus 100 600 minus 50 550 will be my normal profit which I would have earned if there were no abnormal gains and abnormal losses similarly here 300 plus 100 400 minus 50 350 and this will be 450 right and then if you have to calculate the average profits what do you do you will add on the profits for whatever numbers are there. So three years is what we have taken. 550 plus 450,000, 1350. Okay, and average profits is what? Total profits earned by me during this period divided by number of years. Or 1350 divided by three, which is 450. Right, so my average profits is going to be 450. 
in some time what happens is that we are told that goodwill is calculated three at three year purchase of average profits what does this mean this means that if you have to calculate goodwill you take the average profits and do a sum for three years or three year purchase means multiply the average profits by three years which gives you 1350 only in this case interestingly the profits were also for three years and the three year purchase was given so you got the same number which is the total profit but these numbers can be different so if you were to calculate this for four years you will multiply 450 by 4 to get 1800 as the value of goodwill right We'll take a problem in the next video where I'll explain this thing to you in further details. For now, you can go and watch our website www.iadiobook.com for many more such videos, present, past and future to come. Right? Thank you for being with us today.